Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today, children, is the feast day of two doctors who are saints. They were also twin brothers, and their names are Saints Cosmas and Damien. And we have their pictures there, so you can see them as well. Two very beautiful wooden carvings of these saints are on our altar today. They're called by the Greeks the Anagires, which means the moneyless ones, because, and this would be quite a miracle, even though they were doctors, they never sent anyone a bill and they never charged any money for their healing services, because they were Christians. And they said, well, since we have enough money to live on, we don't need to charge these people any money, so let's instead do everything out of charity for love of our Lord. Children, many people do good things in this world, and sometimes they do good things to be praised by people and recognized and honored. Sometimes people do good things because they get paid for it. And if they don't get paid for it, they're not interested in doing it. I remember a long time ago when we first had St. Gertrude's, well, because all of the children were at school and I didn't have any altar boys back then, so I put an ad in the parish bulletin and I said, I need somebody, maybe a retired man who still remembers, to come and serve my Mass on weekdays when I'm here. And one man called and he said, well, he would be interested in serving Mass for me, and how much would I pay him? And I thought to myself, well, you don't get paid for serving Mass. It's something you do for the glory of God. And that was the end of that. But many people are like that, children, and I hope that none of you would ever be like that. Since Cosmos and Damien were a part of a family of five boys, and as it happened, they all died together as martyrs. Their father died when they were very little, but their mother raised them to be good Christians. And they decided that for the love of God, they wanted to learn how to be doctors. And so, even though they were from Arabia, a long time ago, Arabia had many Christians, they went to Syria and they... they uh, went to study, and they learned the art of medicine. Uh, in the ancient times, there didn't used to be doctors. What people would do if someone got sick was that they would send around to their neighbors to say, this is what the sick person's symptoms are. Does anyone have any idea what could be done to make them feel better? People would have a lot of folk remedies and suggestions, but then later on in the time, in the course of time with history, there came to be doctors. Now people still, of course, study for doctors, and we need to pray for doctors very much because uh, doctors are sometimes tempted to do things against God's law anymore. Instead of helping people in body and soul, sometimes they hurt them instead. So that's why we need to pray for them. And far from being moneyless today, doctors uh, charge quite a bit of money usually for their services and then at a certain point in their lives, they get to be very, very wealthy. And that's the reason why people become doctors. But not our saints. They just wanted to honor our Lord. So they ended up working as doctors in a town in what is today Turkey. And even though they had made a promise to each other, Cosmos and Damien, that they'd never charge anything, one day a woman who was very sick, whose name was Palladia, came and she got healed by St. Uh, Damien and uh, she wanted to give him quite a bit of money but he said, no, no, we never take any money. Just say a prayer for me and I'll say a prayer for you. Well, the next day she came back with a dozen eggs and she said, well, the very least you can do for the love of our Lord is to take these eggs. Well, considering that it was just some eggs and they could have used some eggs and it was for the love of our Lord, St. Damien said yes. When he got home that night with his eggs, his brother was very angry with him. And he said, we promised we wouldn't, and now you broke the promise. I don't even want to be buried with you. Well, that night, our Lord appeared to the cross brother, Cosmos, and he said to him, what your brother did was the right thing, and you shouldn't hold it against him. But in the meantime, everybody in the town found out about it. That's what happens sometimes when you lose your temper and you say something off the top of your head. Well, just about that time, there was a persecution for the faith, the great persecution of Diocletian. And Lysias was the prefect or the man in charge of doing this. And Cosmos and Damien and their brothers were arrested. 
and they were cruelly tortured. They were put up on crosses, and then the people were supposed to throw stones at them. Only the stones came back at them. And the same thing with the arrows that the archers shot at them. That probably stands for the fact, children, that when we attack others, it just comes back at us again. Well, then finally they were beheaded with the sword. And now comes the interesting part. Some of you older students may remember this story. Well, because the people had remembered that St. Cosmas said, I don't want to be buried with my brother because he took those eggs at once. They were going to bury them in two separate graves and not together. And they were digging those graves when all of a sudden a camel appeared. Now, these two saints, as doctors were back then, were also veterinarians. And they used to take care of animals for free as well. Well, the camel spoke to them with a human voice and said, In honor of all of the four-legged creatures whom these brothers have treated, please don't do that. Bury them together as God wants. And so the people agreed to do that. Later on, the relics were transferred by an emperor, and a great church was built in their honor in the east and also many churches in Rome. And that's why every day in the canon of the Mass, we pray for them. There's another saint we have today, children, who lived in a far different time and place. She lived in the 19th century in France, who gives us a good example along those same lines about our reward being with God, as we have in today's epistle. Her name is St. Therese of Couderet, and she is the foundress of the Sisters of the Seneca. When Father Giacotta was a little boy, he used to serve Mass for these Sisters of the Seneca who lived across the street from him. What was unusual about these sisters was not only the very colorful habit that they wore, but that they gave retreats themselves. They gave retreats to ladies. You see, this is what happened. People started coming to a certain Jesuit shrine of St. Francis Regis, and the priest there wasn't able to take care of everybody. So he said to St. Therese and the other sisters, he said, well, you know pretty much about St. Ignatius. Why don't you give the retreat to the ladies, and I'll give the retreats to the men? And that's how their work got started. Now, what was interesting is that later on, there were quite a few problems, and the foundress, St. Therese Couderet, had to resign her position. And then people forgot that she was even the foundress, and another nun got all of the credit. And nobody ever said anything about her, and she was given very poor and lowly jobs to do. And of course, because she was a saint, she didn't mind at all. And it wasn't until once a, a very holy cardinal came to visit them, and he said, the one that's forgotten over there in the corner, she looks to me like she's a saint. She has the face of a saint. And so they did some checking, and sure enough, she was the founder of the order. And everyone had forgotten that. That's a good example for us children. Let us remember today not to do good to be thanked, honored, or praised, and not to feel bad if we're not, and certainly not to do good because someone is giving us money. Let us do good as our saints do out of the love of the good God, out in honor of the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.